Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the problems in exercise 2.4. Okay, the first question: Determine which of the following polynomials has x plus one as a factor. Okay, so here four problems are given. We have to find out whether this x plus one is a factor or not. Okay, so here the first one. First one is x cube minus x square minus x plus one. We have to check whether x plus one is a factor to this polynomial or not. So first take x plus one and equals to zero. Now the value will be minus one. X equals to minus one. So now what is the given polynomial? This is the given polynomial. Now in the place of x. we have to substitute minus 1 minus 1 cube minus minus 1 whole square minus minus 1 plus 1 so you have to keep in your brain minus 1 whole power odd number will be minus 1 only minus 1 whole power even number will be plus 1 okay so This is minus one, minus here even number. So plus one minus into minus plus one plus one. Okay. So this minus one and plus one will get cancelled. Minus into plus minus one plus one again will cancel. So p of minus one how much equals to zero, right? So, since p of minus one equals to zero, x plus one is a factor of p of x. Okay. Okay, students. See, for suppose, what is the factor? If I take eight, what are the factors to eight? One is one factor, and two is one factor. Four. Next eight, right? So. Why we are calling these four as a factors to eight? Because these all the numbers divides eight completely, right? That means remainder zero. So if x minus c a divides p of x, then the remainder will be p of e. Already we have seen in our exercise two point three, right? Basing on remainder theorem. So if p of e equals to zero, then this is a factor. Okay. If that means remainder is zero. We'll see second one. The second one x power four minus x cube plus x square minus x plus one. So we have to check whether this x plus one is factor or not. So take this x plus one and equals to zero. That means we have to find out the zero of this polynomial. So plus when we transpose plus to RHS, it will be minus one. Okay. So now we have to substitute minus one in the given polynomial instead of x. Minus one whole power four minus one whole cube plus minus one whole square minus minus one plus one. So minus whole power even number. Already I told you here plus one, right? Minus whole power odd number will be minus one. So this is minus one. Again minus whole power even number plus one minus into minus plus one plus one. See here all are okay. Wait. One minus into minus plus one, plus into plus also plus one, plus one, plus one. All are positive, right? One plus one two, one two three four five. So after adding, we will get five. That means what is the value of p of minus one? It is five. If the remainder is zero, then only that is the factor. But here the remainder is not zero, right? 
so since p of minus 1 is equal to 5 that not equals to 0 x plus 1 is not a factor of p of x I think you are getting my point students okay now we will see our third problem so here also we have to check whether x plus 1 is a factor or not x equal to minus 1 so write p of x is equal to x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 1 so in the place of x write minus 1 minus 1 whole power 4 plus 2 minus 1 whole cube so just write minus 1 in the place of x okay so since it is minus 1 we have to keep in bracket ok so now minus 1 whole power even number that will be plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 whole power odd number minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 whole power even number plus 1 plus into minus minus 1 plus 1 this plus 1 and minus 1 will get cancelled so 1 2 1s are 2 plus into minus minus 2 2 1s are 2 plus into plus plus 2 plus 2 and minus 2 so this will be 1 right so p of minus 1 we got 1 so what we have to write since p of minus 1 is equal to 1 that is not equals to 0 x plus 1 is not a factor of p of x ok now we will see the fourth one so in the place of x we have to write minus 1 minus 1 whole cube minus minus 1 square minus 3 minus root 3 into minus 1 plus root 3 simply in the place of x i wrote minus 1 minus whole power odd number that will be minus 1 minus whole power even number plus 1 minus into minus plus 3 minus root 3 into 1 same we will get right 3 minus root 3 only plus root 3 now root 3 plus root 3 minus root 3 will get cancelled minus 1 minus into plus minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 plus 3 that is 1 so p of minus 1 here we got 1 this is also not equals to 0 right so we have to write since p of minus 1 equals to 1 not equals to 0 x plus 1 is not a factor of p of x ok students so like this we can solve our first problem in exercise 2.4 students please share with your friends and please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching